Hey guys, so let's answer a question. Hi Steph, I've been watching your YouTube videos for a little while now and I have just one small question. I'm 30 years old and started learning Python programming from scratch roughly three months ago. So he has a background in architecture and he wants to change careers. So let me just finish off his message to me. Should I be worried about ageism vis-a-vis -vis getting a job in the field as a junior developer? Is 3032 considered old in industry today or in the near future? Is this something I should be worried about? Thanks. 3032, you should not be worried about that. For sure, if you were in your late 40s or your 50s, working for startups could be an issue, although there's lots of opportunity if you're bad age to get into freelancing, small business web development, small business development. But 32 years old, no, 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 no. 30, 32 years, it's not even close to being an issue as far as being a developer. Since you already have a background in architecture, you might find that you could get jobs as a developer working in that field, right? In that field, architecture, they do use software. And as I told people many times, if you have domain knowledge, that's more important than knowing another framework or another programming language. So since you have a background in architecture, and I assume you have some job contacts or some employer contacts, and you learn how to program, then you can marry your architectural background with your programming skills, and you probably are going to be a more valuable developer in that regard. Doesn't mean you have to go there, but it's just an option that uh, is available to you. So in closing, as a general rule, if you want to go work for a young startup, yes, if you're in your 40s or 50s, you're probably going to have an issue unless you happen to be highly experienced in a particular area, area where that startup needs people. On the other hand, there's so much opportunity in terms of software development that all the statistics I've seen that there's going to be a huge shortage, especially in North America and the West, a huge shortage of software developers. That's why there was all these political issues in the past about some types of visa visas in terms of bringing people in from India or China or elsewhere into the U.S. And uh, it's just there's a huge shortage of talent. And in fact, I was talking to somebody, a VC, uh, a venture capitalist, and they were asking me about the talent situation in Montreal in terms of what's the availability of developers. That was one of the bottlenecks that they had, meaning one of the problems that the VCs are having is can they put together smart teams to develop an idea? That was a major issue. It was such an issue but it was one of the primary questions, one of the primary concerns that the VC had vis-a-vis -vis Montreal as a location to launch a technology-based business. And this is not a problem unique to Montreal. There's lack of software development, coder talent, technology talent is a worldwide problem, generally speaking. So if you have good fundamental skills, good communication skills, I don't think you're going to have any problem securing a good job as a developer. There's no question about that. And I don't see this demand diminishing for years and years to come. It's not just my opinion. All the data shows that. So don't worry about it, especially if you're in your 30s. No problem. You can get a job anywhere if, again, good fundamental skills, uh, good uh, communication skills, a little bit of reputation, is very useful, of course. Anybody who follows my channel knows. If you're new to my channel, you want to learn about coding, career, you want to learn from somebody, me, who's been doing this for well over two, dec two decades, there's a whole collection of videos for you to watch, and uh, you'll learn a lot there. All right, I hope this is helpful. Bye-bye.